Good morning, folks. We've got several earthquakes to report. Had a special video last night, and we hit the solar forcing of Earth's atmosphere through the ionosphere. But we are starting with our star, and we had no flaring or significant eruptions, but there are morphing sunspots and the plasma filaments are beginning to get active as well, especially on the north. The umbral and coronal magnetic fields are at high abundance and are connecting the active regions to each other in fairly stable configuration for the time being, new ones on the south. The solar wind is relatively stable at the moment, that's ACE and DISCOVER. No major changes in plasma speed or density. A flip in the phi angle this morning in blue has kept the KP index up off the floor. It is minor geomagnetic activity at the moment. Taking a look at sunspots next, in the southern portion we see a split with two connected umbra on the left, three connected umbra on the right. The silence and lack of flaring the last two days is a result of the simple magnetic setup, split like boys and girls at a middle school dance. To get flaring, you generally need to have those strong magnetic areas closely interacting, and we'll be watching for that given the active regions have been morphing quite a bit in the last couple days. Folks, there were several earthquakes of note overnight. Seven pointer and a couple high sixes south of the Fiji Islands. Luckily, no tsunami and well offshore away from populated areas. Also had a strong surface shake in Italy felt in several countries nearby and one in Nepal as well. At least six dead in that event felt as far away as Delhi. Folks, there are three links to today's articles and all fortify and expound on the knowledge of solar forcing of the ionosphere. These studies span the high latitudes to the equatorial ionization crests and show a profound response to the solar and geomagnetic modulation of space weather, from CME impact and penetrating radiation belt particles, to the auroral particle precipitation, to the equatorward traveling waves and auroral streamers that reach low latitudes. All parts of the globe are impacted and through that, the lower atmosphere as well via the global electric circuit. The connection between the sun's activity and surface temperatures, clouds, precipitation, and more covered in high detail in our books. If you missed last night's Q&A video, it appears some of those topics were a bit new to many observers. That's what makes an awesome Q&A in my mind. It and all the other Q&A videos are part of the Earth Disaster Playlist. Find those playlists, our books, and much more in the description box links below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.